Hello everybody, this is Mr. Sosa with another video for digital art. Today we are actually going to be colorizing black and white photography. So in this case we're going to colorize this picture of big text. Um, so this should be pretty fun. Um, it requires a lot of steps but um, they become, um, you do them over and over and over so it shouldn't be that difficult. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's grab our zoom tool and zoom just a little bit. Um, you're going to uh, grab uh, your quick selection tool and it's actually hidden behind your object selection tool. So you're going to go the fourth tool down. It's the quick selection tool. Okay. And you're going to select portions at a time. Okay, for example, I'm going to select the top part of a shirt first, color that in, then I'm going to select the bottom part of a shirt, color that in, then I'm going to select his pants, color that in, the belt, the face, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and make a selection. So it's selecting everything that it thinks it should select, maybe a little bit more than it needs to, but that's okay because we can clean that up here in a little while. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so we've got a selection. Now what we're going to do is go down here and click on our adjustment layer. It's this black and white icon down here that looks like a split yin and yang kind of. So you're going to click on that. Click on solid color. And by default, it's going to color it white or black. Either one is normal. Okay but I want the top color to be red. So I'm gonna click red, click OK, and now we're gonna take your layer from normal to overlay. Okay, normal to overlay. So now if I zoom in a little bit, you'll notice that the top part, for the most part, is mostly colored in. It comes with a mask, and this is important because the mask is actually showing you where the color is located. So if I click on the mask and grab a brush, whoops, I need to make my brush a little smaller, okay, um, and turn my opacity up, a black brush will delete the color, while if I switch it around to a white brush, it will add color back just like that. So I'm going to actually add some color into this tie. I'm going to add a little bit of color back to the bottom there. There's a little spot right here that didn't catch right here. So I'm just adding color and then I'm going to switch my brushes. I'm going to choose a black brush. Get rid of this little piece right here, that little piece right there. I don't want his lapel red so I'm going to go ahead and paint that out. So now we've got a red color swatch over whoops over this black and white layer and it's mixed in such a way overlay not normal you can actually use multiply or overlay but most people in, uh, use overlay because it looks a little bit more realistic and it lets those whites come through it really lets those whites come through you do not want to click on the color swatch and try to brush it because it will say that it needs to be rasterized and that's going to get you not in a lot of trouble, but you may have to start that little process over. Okay, so just click cancel if you see rasterize. Say, whoa, I need to get out of here. Um, click cancel and then go back to your mask. Make sure you click on your mask, which is this linked black box. And now you can adjust. Okay, back to our background. You're always going to go back to your background. You're going to click your background. We're going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Grab your quick selection tool. Now I'm going to grab the bottom side. I'm going to grab the bottom side. And it made a good selection. It selected most of what I wanted. It selected a little bit too much up here. So you're going to see a muddy color up here. But that should be fine because we can just paint that out. Okay, once again, click on your black and white little circle icon down here. Click solid color. It's going to turn it white. This time I want it blue. I'm going to turn it blue. Click OK. Send it to overlay. 
and that's looking pretty good but once again I told you that there's a little bit excess of color there so I'm going to grab the mask grab a brush remember that a black brush will remove the color so I'm just removing that color double over that didn't need to be there um, I think that's looking pretty good keep in mind this is really advanced stuff what I'm having you do in this project is really advanced um, professionals get paid a lot of money to do this so don't feel terrible if you don't get it immediately okay because it does require some finesse with your hand um, a few tricks here and there so that looks pretty good we need to get rid of this too and the good news is I'm going to paint out these white dots just for consistency if I paint too much out whoops oh no look at all that gray what am I doing I can just go back grab a white brush and paint it back in so you're either painting color out or painting color in okay you it's not impossible to screw up but it's very difficult to screw up because you can always find a way out in this project with this type of project okay so I'm gonna go back to my background I want to show you guys how to color the face and the hat I really wanted to select just the hat but this picture is kind of funny so it selected the whole face too so as usual I'm gonna click here click on solid color I'm gonna choose an appropriate color for the hat click OK change it to overlay now all I've got to do is click on the mask grab my brush with a black brush sometimes I forget which one does which with a black brush I'm going to paint out the yellow in his face because we don't need it. You can color that a different color a little later. If you wanted to keep it in his hair, I guess you could, that yellow. But I'm going to color it all out of his face and all out of his ear, all out of his cheek. Now there's a few splotchy places on the side right here. I'm going to grab a white brush, turn my brush down a little bit and then come fill this in come fill this in down here fill it in at the top just a little bit up here so now if I fit to screen you'll notice that he's really coming along what I've got to do next are the jeans the hands um, <clears throat> let's say you wanted to make the belt the same color as the hat you could actually just extend that layer so click on your mask grab your brush and with white you can paint in the belt buckle we're really just extending it okay and you'll see a little tiny microscopic piece of white there that's showing okay same thing with the face once you paint the face you can just extend your hands as well once you paint the left side of the sky you can paint the right side of the sky because sometimes the sky is a little tricky to select but basically what you're going to do is make selections Fill them in with the color, solid color, and then grab the mask and paint either in or out, on or off. Okay, and that's what you're going to do until completion. I do need the background, the sky painted. You can make it blue, you can make it um, yellow, you can make it orange to make it look like a, sun like a sunset. <clears throat> you can make it any color. Um, you like you can make his clothes any color you like as well um, but just don't get too crazy I have students that are creating clowns and I would probably stay away from the clown um, option but in the end it's kind of up to you so I hope you enjoy this project this is basically what you're going to be doing for your real for your actual project the difference is you're going to be choosing your own picture which will go over the guidelines for those a little later as we get closer you have a few days to complete this assignment the due date is on the instructions please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything I can do to help you out until next time I will talk to you then have fun enjoy